and welcome to Rebel Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC and crafts. Uh, today we're going to be um, uh, following up with the video I did earlier on the locator, the LOC8TOR, a device that we use to uh, find our uh, quads and uh, our multi-rotors and our planes uh, when they're down and we don't know where they are. Um, there's a bit of a problem with the locator. It's a great product. However, it has a very limited range, and there'll be a link to this video so you can look up the locator. So for park flyers and things that are within, uh, I'd say about no more than six to 700 meters, uh, the locator is an excellent product. However, a lot of times with, uh, with the FPV flying and a lot of these uh, planes that have autonomous flight modes, uh, and if you have a problem, this plane could fly for quite some time and uh, it could be down only when it runs out of battery. So it could be quite a ways away. And a friend of mine uh, in our club, Mike, um, uh, suggested that I look at a product called T-Beacon, which is a small autonomous uh, locator uh, <clears throat> that works with your walkie-talkie. Uh, now, um, there's all kinds of rules about frequencies you use, and we'll talk about those in a second. But first, let's just talk about the T-Beacon. Um, it is a, a product that comes uh, from Russia. Um, we've been, uh, Mike has been using it for a while, and this, I've just started to use it. Uh, so that uh, I was really looking for something that would, would give me that long range uh, findability. And, and this, is, this is really a good product. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a series of videos and we're going to do the first three. The first video is going to be talking about taking this out of the parcel and using it right away. Uh, it's uh, for a lot of people that just want to grab and go. That's what this first video is going to be about. Pull it out of the box. Let's operate this thing. The second video is going to be talking about uh, using the software and connecting the T-Beacon to your PC so that you can change the parameters. And for those of you that live in North America, you, uh, you should go in and, and change the frequencies uh, to be compliant with your local laws and regulations. Um, and then the third video is going to talk about uh, adding a GPS uh, so that uh, not only will it, uh, can you find it by uh, proximity mode, but it will actually give you the GPS coordinates. And I've tested it and it's within feet. Uh, so it's a very impressive device. Uh, has a good solid range of, uh, I've tested it uh, at, on the FRS frequencies about three kilometers in an urban setting. Could probably get a little bit better range uh, in a more open area. <clears throat> but uh, because of the frequencies it's working at, uh, it'll penetrate a lot of, a lot of wood and uh, trees and brush and, and find this device. So uh, let's get started talking about the T-Beacon. All the links will be on the video as to where you can purchase all the products we're talking about today. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, uh, we want to talk about uh, the frequencies. This is a stock uh, product as it comes from Russia. That's my radio telling me, <laughs> as it always does. Uh, this product comes with a frequency, a standard frequency out of the box of 433.075. Five hertz, which is in North America is a ham frequency, which means that we really can't use it. For this demonstration, I am going to pretend that this is right out of the box. However, when it's right out of the box, it has a frequency in North America, and I don't know where it is around the rest of the world and what the rules are. Please check your local authorities as to uh, what frequencies you can use. Uh, but this is already pre-programmed to an FRS frequencies. But that will be discussed in part two. This first video is simply opening it up and using it. So let's get started. The very first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a walkie-talkie. And the only thing I'm going to talk about is what I know, which is the Baofeng uh, UV-5R. Um, it is the one that's the most recommended. So that's what I'm going with. I'm not even going to try to talk uh, about any other product because I don't understand them. But at least I have enough information on how to use this product, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. The Baofeng UV-5R. So this will be the walkie-talkie that you need to use in conjunction with the D-Beacon in order to find it. This is what it's going to talk to. 
So uh, first thing you need to do is turn on your walkie-talkie and if you're using the default, and again, check with your local rules and regulations, it's going to be at 433.075. You simply dial in those for that frequency into the keypad here and on your bow fang, it will change on the screen automatically and that frequency will be set. And then once, you're, once you have your walkie-talkie on, you turn on your key beacon and there's a little button right here at the end where the uh, speaker is and you just simply press that on and the lights are activated it first thing it does is it tells you the voltage of the battery that comes with your T beacon now I purchased a T beacon amber uh, and uh, it came with the battery already pre-connected as well as the light and the speaker uh, some of the older models didn't but this one uh, has it on and the very first bit of information it gives you is the voltage. It then goes through a cycle and it's going to give you GPS coordinates uh, as well as um, uh, tone location. So there's basically two types of way of locating product. Uh, locating your lost uh, uh, plane uh, or multi-rotor and one is by tones and the other is uh, numeric. I'm not going to talk about the tones, it's referenced in their manual. I didn't find that handy uh, for the way I think. Uh, I'm going to be using the numeric and what it is is it gives you a range, a number range from 0 to 99. 99 means you're right next to it and we'll see that demonstrated in a second and uh, 0 means well you're far away. So in order to, now that we have the T-beacon on and we have the walkie-talkie on, you simply press the PTT, press to talk button, on your bow fang, and you press the AB switch, holding it down for five seconds. It says niner niner, that means it's close. And it's going to give you that tone location, but it's going to give you the number first. Now it's giving out a GPS coordinates, and that was the test I did. I've been testing this for a while, so it's actually giving the, uh, the GPS locations, which are going to be talked about in video 3, of where you can find your uh, key beacon. And it cycles through three times. It does this, does this three times, and you can change that in the software if you want, in the parameters. Okay, and uh, finally what we need to talk about here is, once we have our uh, beacon, uh, working and we want to uh, do a location, we press our um, we press our A B switch along with the P T T. Um, we then hold the um, the unit close to our body and rotate slightly. And what we're looking for is working for the biggest number, because as we rotate, the biggest number is the direction we want to go in. So it's as simple as that. Simply do your location. Okay. I'm going to just turn this on. Okay. And 3.7 volts. Now, what I need to do here is I need to put down, hold down the PTT and the AB button, hold it for five seconds. Release it. Niner, niner. And then I need to do the same thing, rotating around in another direction. Then it said 9-8. Obviously, I'm still very close to it, but uh, there is a difference. And uh, the direction that you get the largest number is the direction that you should be walking towards. Basically, that's it. And remember, as you're getting closer and you press the PTT and the AB button, Five seconds. You're going to get the LED working and you're going to get the sound. So as you're getting closer, you're going to be able to hear it for sure and see the light. One final thing we need to talk about before we finish this video. Turn this off and turn this off. Again, holding it down for, they say five seconds. I think it's really six seconds. Now, what we need to do is one final thing in this video, and that is charging our unit up. And that's why I brought my handy-dandy model over. 
For charging this uh, unit, we're going to take the supplied cable. Now, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my uh, I'm going to be using my uh, my uh, receiver, and I'm going to uh, actually just simply plug in the negative and positive. That's going to give me the five volts that I need to uh, charge up the battery in the unit. The nice thing about using the uh, the uh, receiver. Uh, as your power source. The great part is as soon as you plug in your battery the, uh, the beacon will go on automatically for you. So you'll always have it on whenever you use it in the craft. Um, you do have to turn it off manually but once you do, uh, once it is in and it's off and you plug in your battery the beacon will go on. Let me just do a demonstration. Take a handy dandy battery and I'm going to plug it in. Turn on the radio. Plug in my radio. The radio goes on automatically. And it declares the uh, voltage. So, uh, this is how I'm going to be wiring it. You do need to um, use the supplied cable. Uh, we're going to be using this for connecting to the computer, as well as connecting to the GPS, which we'll see in the next videos. But for this video, you're going to use the supplied cable just to charge your battery only. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you did, please say like and uh, subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos on RC and Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you next time at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye.